G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel, 1MJ here. Well it just so happens, this is a story that I've wanted to do uh, for a little while now, uh, and two uh, stories uh, came up on to Coin Telegraph. sorry, excuse me, <laughs> Coin Telegraph. Uh, and, I th and I'm glad that they come up because I can cover it off now. So basically, if anyone's been uh, doing any transactions uh, on the Ethereum network of late, you will know that the gas fees have been, they're awful absolutely awful at the moment if you were to try and do some kind of like micro transaction or something like that you're going to pay more in fees uh, than you do the transaction it's just horrible at the moment now obviously this is just something that happens uh, in high use and it's the DeFi thing at the moment that's really kind of tying up the network but this has to be addressed because at the moment ethereum's got no chance of kind of mass adoption and the rest of it if it can't get these uh, gas fees sorted out because yeah at the moment any kind of micro transactions it just costs you too much and not only that it's basically become uh, almost like the bitcoin network and this isn't having a go at bitcoin i love bitcoin and i and i enjoy using it and i'm invested in it but when bitcoin gets banked up when it's really really busy number one it's expensive to send uh bitcoin and number two it takes forever it's exactly what's happening to Ethereum at the moment. Again, the gas frees are astronomical at times and the wait time. Sometimes you can wait, oh, I've, I've waited over eight minutes for just the standard rate for uh, my Ethereum transaction to go through. And before, Ethereum would generally take, you know, no more than a minute or two at best. So at the moment, it's really, really horrible. And this article goes into it. So it's saying, as Ether transaction fees hit 100 guay, the project's co-founder warns that a failure to respond could underline the security of the network. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin has called for reform for the cryptocurrency's fee system, warning that rising transaction fees could undermine the security of the network. The idea is based on a paper that suggests miners increasing reliance on transaction fees may incentivize selfish mining practices in a bid to exact greater profits, risking distributions of how tra transactions are processed. Buterin's comments come as users report Ether transaction fees uh, tagging 100 guay. Mythos Capital founder Ryan Adams tweeted earlier today that the Ethereum network must find ways to fit more value in each block. I did read that tweet from him uh, earlier. Buterin is advocating for the implementation of Ethereum uh, Improvement Proposal EIP 1599 to reform Ethereum's fees. It involves burning base fees to reduce miners' reliance on transaction tariffs. However, some of the, current, some of the community are yet to warm to the proposal. So this has been out for a while, uh, this proposal that he's had. But yeah, the the miners that are involved in Ethereum and that, then they're, they're not they're not keen to jump on board just yet. You know, they have uh, doubts and some questions and things like that. And, and fair enough, I understand that. But outside of the security of the network and things like that, this is going to affect uh, Ethereum and whether people are actually going to use it. So yes, I understand that he's talking about security and you know making sure that miners aren't you know uh, getting greedy and, and being selfish like he said uh, to extract greater profits. That's definitely an issue. Don't get me wrong. I completely agree. But outside of that, people aren't going to use Ethereum if it's going to cost you uh, you know exorbitant fees to do it, and it's going to take forever for it to go through at just uh, you know an already steep fee, let alone paying an extremely high fee to make it quicker, people just won't use it. They'll stay away from it. So I think this is uh, Ethereum's biggest issue at the moment. And, and it's been an issue for a while. You can go back to the CryptoKitties thing back in the 2017, 2018 sort of pump. Just a couple of you know non-fungible tokens, well not a couple, I mean there was a few, but non-fungible tokens were released, these CryptoKitties, Bang, network was all jammed up for ages, gas fees were expensive, uh, and yeah, again, we need to make sure that this stuff is fixed. Mass adoption is never going to happen as long as these kind of things go on. Imagine you were gonna to go to a bank and you were like, all right, or you go to an ATM, perfect example. There's fees for using ATMs at times. Fair enough, I understand that, I don't like it generally, but you know, that's the way it is. But imagine you go to an ATM, you want to get out 20 bucks, and they're telling you it's going to cost you $10 to get $20 out. 
you'd never get the money out you'd never touch it you'd just be like it costs you too much and again particularly for those micro sort of transactions you know people in third world countries that they won't touch ethereum they they just couldn't afford to you know uh middle class and upper class sure they might be able to swallow uh you know that fee and go fair enough but yeah too much way too much come on ethereum we need to get on top of this now we go over here and it's talking about ethereum 2.0 now it's final test net launch is allegedly going to happen on august 1st now this is good because uh 2.0 it addresses some of the scaling issues uh and will hopefully reduce uh gas costs and things like that as well but we've been waiting for 2.0 uh, for quite a long time and this is uh just the initial phase zero launch uh, they anticipate that the full rollout of eth 2.0 it could take years you know we could be talking 2024 2025 if it's going to take that long to roll out it's really going to hinder ethereum pushing forwards now fair enough we might not be able to roll out everything but if this initial thing and everyone's more worried about the staking we all want to stake ethereum uh, and then get the rewards and that's great I'm one of those people I'm in and I've got some ethereum ready to go to be staked but again the problem is going to be the fees if the fees are just going to be astronomical and it's going to take forever to make this uh, to do the transactions no one's going to use it staking will be great you'll get some ethereum but no one's going to adopt it no one's going to buy it off you when you want to sell it and the price won't appreciate because no one's buying it so these, I think, are the biggest issues at the moment, and I really hope that Ethereum's gonna kinda get on top of these in the near future. I understand that they have to make sure that you know everything's done correctly and there's no bugs in the system, no cracks, no weak points, and they have basically almost completely changed the, the Ethereum code from what it originally was to get it into this 2.0 phase. So it was a massive change, uh, and they definitely need to make sure they have it right and take their time but they've been promising it for a long time. So now it's really gonna be those, one of those times where they're going to have to deliver and they're gonna to have to deliver soon. They can't just keep pushing it back. You know, there was talk not long ago that it might not even happen till next year now. So, you know, we'll wait and see whether this uh, August 4th uh, is legit. This is, uh, you know, something that was released on their Discord. Uh, someone from Ethereum on the Discord released that information. So it's not Vitalik himself at the moment that I'm aware of. But this is, you know, at least this is a step forward, but hopefully it's going to start happening with a little bit more pace. And particularly, I hope it gets on top of those gas fees. Yes, staking is going to be great. And I understand. I'm, I'm absolutely hanging for it like everyone else is. I've got uh, a, a fair amount of Ethereum ready to go to be staked. But again, if we can't get these gas fees and transaction times fixed, staking won't really matter. Uh, if no one's going to use it and, and no one's going to buy it and all the rest of it, then it won't matter. But anyway, that's just my two cents. I, I still love Ethereum. And as I said, I've bought Ethereum and I'll most likely buy some more. But these are definitely the two biggest things that uh, Ethereum need to get on top of. Well, I guess kind of three things. Gas prices, uh, transaction times, uh, and we've got to roll out ETH 2.0. All right, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed uh, my little uh, vlog today. Uh, please hit like uh, button if you think I'm doing all right. It'll help uh, other people see my videos. Uh, hit subscribe if you like what I'm doing. I try and do daily videos on occasions I can't. I've got a job. I have a daughter that I have to look after and things like that. But most days I'll put a video out. And also, please leave a comment. Uh, if there's something you'd like uh, to talk about, if you can think of something that uh, I should do a, view, a review on or a vlog about, let me know. Open to ideas. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you made some gains today. And I'm out.